So back after the loss to Virginia Tech, who thought the Buckeyes were going to be here? The 2015 college football championship game, Ohio State and Oregon. Finally coming down after the big win over Alabama, but this is a whole different animal. The Ducks are bringing it. They got all kinds of weapons. They got receivers. They got four, I believe, four guys with over 500 yards receiving. Four or five guys with five touchdown catches. They got the running back, Bryson, or what's that guy's, Royce Freeman. Over 1,000 yards, 15 to 20 touchdowns. Mariota also sneaks in a few runs. Eight or nine runs a game, 50, 60 yards, a touchdown or so. All the different guys. Carrington seems to be their deep threat on the, out of the wide receivers. Not much effectiveness out of their tight end, but when you got four or five receivers catching balls, scoring touchdowns, does it really matter? Their defensive side of the ball, they're almost just as deep and just as spread out. They got defensive ends that can rush the passer. They got big guys clogging up the middle. They got fast linebackers. They got linebackers with size. They got safeties that can cover, safeties that can hit. They got defensive backs that can cover. They can play some zone if they have to. It's a, absolutely a tall order for the Buckeyes, but we've been saying that since Michigan State, Wisconsin, Alabama. It just keeps getting tougher and tougher and tougher each game. Now the Ducks and the Buckeyes get it on in Texas. For on the Ohio State side, same thing that's been happening. Make Ezekiel Elliott the key factor in a game. Michael Thomas. How about Michael Thomas showing up against Alabama, bringing it. He's had some games this year, just adding another weapon to the Buckeyes for them to keep their eyes on. Devin Smith, you know, obviously needs no description at this point. The offensive line, I didn't know how they would do against Bama. They held their own. Hopefully Bourne at center's recovered. Tough, nasty dude. Need him at 100% along with the rest of the guys. Elf line, Decker. The other two dudes. Sorry, don't know your names right now. Do something. Make me remember your name. I don't know. Anyhow. Hopefully Evan Spencer's not throwing the touchdown passes. Cardell Jones is. The big man just improves. He's got a few more. We another week, 10 days here to improve even more. Oregon's going to come after him, just like Alabama tried. That's where the offensive line needs to stick it in there. We need Samuel, Jalen, Ezekiel Elliott. Maybe Dontre Wilson is back. Might just be Herb, though. He keeps throwing that out there. I don't know if Wilson has any intentions of playing or not. Predictions for this game. Of course, I don't want to, you know, I'm nervous as hell as a Buckeye fan. Big games like this, I never get too overconfident. But seeing a team like Oregon, the Pac-12, now they didn't have the toughest schedule all year. They really only had three or four true tests, one or two true tests with three or four other medium games, similar to the Buckeyes. So I guess I'm just going to have to drop something around a, I don't know, Oregon 31, Ohio State 20, something in that neighborhood. Sickens me to think that the Buckeyes are going to get this close, but this wasn't supposed to be their year. Just like I started out the video saying, who thought it after that loss to Virginia Tech when Miller went down, then losing JT, you know, we're here. It's been a great season no matter what happens. Next year, the following years, Urban the Buckeyes, we're going to be back. But while we're here, why not take it? Why not start a dynasty? Starting with the ducks.